try to catch me hollering at the moon. Welcome back to Mideast Racing. Round number seven is taking us back to Catfish Pond, a track known for its muddy terrain, tight woods, and many hills. This track also features multiple creek crossings and a creek jump to challenge the riders. This track was muddy in places, but overall dried up nicely after the rainstorms on Saturday. Up on the front row, Rui Barbosa returns to the mid -east stage. Last year, he was on the podium in every race he participated in. Also looking to extend their leads and fight for the overall win is Michael DeLosa and Zachary Davison. When the green flag dropped, Barbosa and Davison got off the line first, battling it through the first corner with Zachary Davison getting the whole shot. He would not be able to hold on to the lead for long, however, because Rui Barbosa would get out front and quickly pull away from the rest of the field. By the end of the first lap, Barbosa would have a 30 second lead over the rest of the field with Zachary Davison in second and Andrew Venata in third. On the second row in AA Expert class, we have a dominating performance in the season so far by Levi Elliott. Coming into this race, Elliott has won five of the first six races of the season. However, looking to compete with him and take the win is Brandon Wayne and Aiden Myers. At the drop of the green flag, Aiden Myers, Grant Pruitt, and Brandon Wayne all flew off the line, flying through the first corner. Aiden Myers was going to get your whole shot. At the end of the first lap, the battle is closed with Brandon Wade out in the lead and Grant Pruitt right on his tail. Aiden Myers and Levi Elliott would be just right behind them. On the second lap though, Aiden Myers would turn it up, make his way into first place and begin to pull away from the rest of the class. Myers would not look back and be able to ride out to his first win of the season. Coming in second place is Levi Elliott and rounding things out is Brandon Wayne. Back in the A senior class, there's another close battle on points between Robert Johnson, Joe Dean, and Gene Deutsch. When green flag dropped, Robert Johnson got off the line first, getting the whole shot with Joe Dean hot on his heels. Joe Dean would get out in front on the first lap and not look back. 
He would be able to extend his lead and cruise to the finish for a four straight win. After falling behind on the first lap, Robert Prystrup would fight his way all the way back through the field from fourth place, moving all the way up into second place, claiming that for himself. Running out the podium is Gene Deutsch for third place. Back on the front row, Rui Barbosa is starting to run away with his race. He extended his lead to over a minute on the second lap and would hold that gap through the last lap and would ride to his first win of the season. Michael Delosa would go on to get second place in the race and fighting his way back from fifth place all the way up into the podium spot is Nathan Davis who would get third. Uh, the race was good, uh, two hours race. Uh, in my training bike, we, we test a new suspension today. So now we, I think we are in the correct way. We need to change something for the next run of the NCC, but it uh, was a good training for me because I have an injury two months ago in my wrist, so I don't ride too much in the past, you know? Uh, I did not ride too much, so now I feel better. So step by step to ride in the, in the first position. Heck yeah, how was the track? Anything fun, exciting happened? The track was very good, very tight for me. I, I ride really really slow in the dump section so it's good training for me and no everything okay so i want to say thank you to the organize and all the people here because uh, the race was really really good yeah. round eight is taking us back to wilborn farms a track known for its wide open straights and rocky rudy terrain it also features a pond with a rope swing and a dock so everyone can have fun and hang out for some fun after a day of racing. Thank you all for joining us at Catfish Pond. If there are any stories or battles you think we should follow, please let us know down in the comment section below. We'll see you soon at Wilburn Farms.